Sean Villanuevo O'Driscoll is one of the most charismatic and all-round badass climbers on the planet. We caught up with him in Chamonix to talk big walls, Captain Bob, and of course, get a tune from him on the tin whistle. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Aujourd'hui, nous partons à l'assaut du Cerro Cathédral. Nous allons quitter notre grotte, notre abri, notre point de, de confort. Et nous allons nous engager dans l'inconfort. Regardez-moi ce ciel, ces montagnes autour de nous. Il fait beau. Demain, il fera mauvais. Mais aujourd'hui, il fait beau. Hi Sean, <laughs> welcome to Chamonix. Thank you. Sean, what are you doing here at the moment? Uh, well, I was, I was just here for the, for the film festival, the mm -hmm. Chamonix Adventure Festival. And uh, yeah, just presenting my film and uh, thought I'd hang around for a few more days and try and, uh, you know. Get something done. Exactly. So your film won the Spirit of Chamonix Award. Yeah. Um, just tell us a bit about what the film's about. So there was a team of four of us, uh, four climbers, and then uh, Captain Bob, so a team of five really. And uh, yeah, so our plan was to, s to sail from Greenland to Baffin Island and uh, climb a bunch of big walls in Baffin Island. Um, but, um, so we arrived in Greenland beginning of July and uh, there was ice. We had to wait for the ice to melt and to clear out of the fjords on the Baffin side. And uh, so it took about, well, we had to wait until August 7 or something. So the whole month of July, we were climbing in Greenland mm -hmm. on the west coast of Greenland, just sailing around, around Umanak Fjord, just exploring and finding some big walls and climbing those big walls there. And then we sailed across the Baffin Island and uh, we went to Sam's Ford Fjord and Gibbs Fjord and explored the fjords there and just climbed every, any line that, that looked attractive and that was... Uh, Pulling us in, so yeah. Oh, yeah, really? clap them. One, two, three, there? go. Is that it? No, no, just clap. Just clap. Right, and then, so one, two, three. Oh. Uh, then you go. One, two, three. Uh, no, no, start again. <laughs> A little slow. One, two, three. How much sort of like gardening did you have to do on these routes? I've seen a few videos and you're like literally digging yeah, like, yeah, cracks yeah. and stuff out. Like yeah. it's proper adventure climbing. Yeah, it varied a lot this time actually. Some of the some of the climbs were very adventurous with like um, um, with some maybe some grass and stuff, but not too much. We didn't have too much grass and stuff this time. But definitely we had some loose. We had a share of loose stuff this time. Does Captain Bob move the boat away from you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Exactly. He's just sitting out in the middle of the sea watching you guys knock. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So like, let's talk a little bit because I love Captain Bob quite yeah, a lot. I sort of want him to be my dad. Oh yeah, I yeah. love my dad. It's fine. He's but a character. Yeah, I sort of want him to be my dad. Like, what's he like to hang out with? He's uh, 81 years old now. Is he really? Yeah, he's 81 years old. So, but he's got so much energy, and he's mm -hmm. like you would never guess his age. Like, he's really strong and very fit, and always up for adventures. He's a very adventurous guy, and yeah. So the first time we went on a trip with him, we really didn't know. We didn't know him, and we saw we saw on the internet that he had a lot of uh, sailing experience up in Greenland. So we contacted him, and we asked him if he knew if there was any big walls up there. And, and he sent us some, a picture of um, 
of some of some big walls up there and he said if you want to go and climb these big walls you have to come on my boat because I want my team to do the first ascent of this yeah and and then he said uh, and I'm leaving in two months time so if you're interested let me know and we're like oh, we don't know this guy you know who's this guy should we go should we not go and we're like all right we'll go so we went we accepted and then the second email he sent us was oh I forgot to tell you I'm he was 75 years old at the time so mm -hmm. he said I'm 75 years old and I'm a retired priest I hope that doesn't put you off <laughs> So we, we like, uh, we arrived in Greenland. We're going to spend uh, three months on a boat, on a small boat with this 75 year old priest. We didn't know what to expect. We're like, oh, is this going to work? Did you hide the bear? Were you like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this going to work? Uh, you know? But uh, yeah, he's just like, uh, he's just got the same like kind of adventure spirit as we have. And so, yeah, it really kind of clicks. I'm captain of the ship and I like her neat and tidy Sailing on a bowling hard on the wind We will cross the ocean, we will weave through the ice And why? Because it's nice! Is there like a hierarchy amongst you guys? Is someone like the cabin boy and someone's the chef? And like, oh, yeah. like, did you work it out? Is someone like the first mate or do you all just do everything? No, we all do everything pretty much, yeah. I mean, I mean, Ollie and Nico are the best sailors, so they'll definitely help uh, help uh, Ben and I mm -hmm. out because we've very little sailing experience. So they'll give us some tips and stuff. But yeah, for the cooking and all the rest, it's um, it's uh, yeah, we mix it all up. And then for the for the for the dirty jobs and everything, we always do rock paper scissors to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, we think that's the most exciting way because. It's better than um, doing rotations because mm -hmm. then it might be the same guy who has to do the same dirty job. Yeah, yeah, it's true. A few days in a row, so it's kind of more exciting. So we like to do a rock, paper, scissors. Okay, all right. So we can laugh. At it. Are you lucky at it or does it not work out for you? Uh, I think the last expedition, I wasn't so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty lucky, but this last expedition, I don't know. I, yeah, I was uh, pretty, I was, uh, I had some really long bad streaks. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into it? Because like big walling is something that it takes a huge amount of experience and knowledge to do. Like most people sort of start climbing their local crag and then like, you know, gradually progress. I mean, what was your journey to, to doing these kind of things? Yeah, so I was, I was born and brought up in, in uh, Belgium and uh, I kind of started uh, climbing in the, in the climbing gyms there in Belgium. And I, pretty soon I ran into uh, Nico and Oli. Uh, so that was about 20 years ago in the gyms. and then, uh, we, we all had kind of the same adventure spirit, so we quickly started climbing outdoors and sport climbing and then uh, sport climbing all around Europe. And then, uh, yeah, we, we, because we were so drawn to the adventure part of climbing, we started just climbing bigger and bigger walls. And first we went to uh, Ratikon in Switzerland and yeah. then we went pretty soon after we went to Yosemite, kind of learned the skills of big walling. and port ledge and sleeping on the wall hauling and hauling loads of stuff. and all that stuff yeah yeah and uh, from then on every year we just went on an on a expedition and preferably to the most remote and and uh, isolated places this is the delight uh, we are getting closer to iceberg field that the tin whistle? Well, that's that's one of them. I have a bunch of them, but uh, well, actually, this is one I just got in Scotland recently. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you give me a tune? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, it was awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> what a legend. Thanks, Sean. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.